President Yoon's dangerous spin on history. Most recently, Korea supported Japan's nomination for the UNESCO World Heritage Inscription of the Sado Island gold mines, while Japan allegedly rejected its request for the presentation of information on Korean forced laborers who toiled in the mine's harsh environment during World War II, instead of igniting conflict and division. You should try to help achieve consensus and harmony by healing the old scars and filling chasms, given the painful journeys that different groups of the nation have taken in coping with the rough tide of history, including the methods of the independence movement. The Yun administration's one-sided concession in sensitive historical issues have aroused suspicions and naturally plenty of questions. After more than two years of bending the knee, what has Yun achieved with Japan? And what does he ultimately intend to achieve through his diplomacy of subservience, forging better ties with a neighbor and going forward together is advisable, no doubt. Strengthening three-way cooperation with Tokyo and Washington in the emerging high-risk global order is important. For a genuine and sustainable peace in the region, however, Yun and his policymakers should deal with their Japanese counterparts from a moral high ground, not appeasing and assisting them in whitewashing or dark history.